Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial for John Mayer's What Races Submarine Test. This tutorial is going to be in two parts. The first part is going to be chords and timing, and the second part is going to be the right hand finger picking. The reason for doing this is that there's been some awesome covers on YouTube. Some of them are either lacking in maybe that one of the chords are wrong, or more commonly that this finger picking uh, banjo right hand is, is, is a little bit wrong. Before we start, I'd recommend um, a pattern paper, maybe some tap paper, just in case a chord comes up that you're not as familiar with. It's generally basic chord shapes, um, but we can divide the song up into each section and just work on each section. Um, so a pattern paper would probably be wise to make a note of these chords. You'll get it learned a lot quicker. Um, also, on my channel, at the start of this video, there should have been a link somewhere you can watch my cover. Um, all the way through for reference and uh, I hope you get something out of this. Let's start at the start. Um, Chris Bowie's trumpet intro which is awesome. Um, a couple of chords there, uh, very easy stuff. We won't really worry about the finger picking um, but let's do that. We've got a C chord which I'm assuming that most of you know. You've got three on the A string, two on the D string, open G and one on the B string. Next chord is a G chord. 3 on the low E, 2 on the A, open D, open G, 3 on the B, 3 on the A. And it goes back to a C chord then. And then it moves up that shape, up 2 frets, to a D at 11 chord. Okay? Um, and it does that twice, that's the intro. Let's look at the timing now. lesson there'll be all of the um, the relative um, all that good stuff um, the next bit is the the before we start singing you've got this C to an A minor bit all that's good stuff really that's simple it's a C chord which we just did and then an A minor chord, which is an open A, two on the D string, two on the G string, one on the B string. Let's look at the timing, it just goes back and forth between those before we start singing. exclusively stay glued to the D string, the G string, and the B string. Um, they're, they're really not going to move very far, they're going to stay there. Um, so your thumb's just moving between those two. Um, so anybody can have a go at the finger picking. Let's do the verse. Um, we've got a C chord, that we did before, but rather than using your third finger, use your pinky because of what comes next. So your first copy of, with, for your verse is a C chord. Start writing all these down. C chord. The next chord is a C with a G in the bass, so this third finger is going to come down to there. This is what the second chord sounds like. The next chord is an F major 6 chord, which is the first fret on the low E string. Rest so that you're not doing anything on the A string at all. Third fret on the D string. Second fret on the G string. Third fret on the B string, that's your F major 6 chord, second chord. Okay, next chord would be to go back to your G chord, that's the third chord, um, then an A minor 7 chord, which is an open A, second fret on the D string, open G, first fret on the B string. Okay, then you go back to your G chord, and then back to your F major 6 chord, that's your verse. Okay, so hopefully you've written those down. Um, let's look at the timing now. That's once through. The second time through, before it goes back to this chord, it goes to this G chord in a different 
different timing, but that's only the second time around the chords. Let's look at the timing now. stuff, don't expect it to come like that. Um, moving on to the pre-chorus now, um, so draw a line on D verse, we'll, uh, onto the pre-chorus. Um, we've got a D minor chord, which is an open D, and then 2-3-2, two, two. okay, and you've got an A minor 7 chord, which we just did, open A, 2nd fret on the D string, open G, 1st fret on the B string, and you've got a G chord. It does that twice, that's the I guess your pre-chorus. Um, okay, the timer. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Same again. He was crazy. Um, we start off on a C chord that we did before, then an F chord that's a bit different. We're going to take these two, move them both down the string. So you've got starting on the D string, you've got three, two, one. That's an F chord, and we're going to put an F in the bass as well with your thumb. Okay, uh, that's that one. Okay. Your next chord is just a D power chord, which is an open D. And then two and three. Okay, so that's the first bit of your chorus. I'm going to chop this chorus up into three sections. So that was your first section C, F, and D power chord, which starts when his wife told his kids he was crazy. Um, let's look at the timing of that first part of our chorus. One, two, three. The second part um, starts out the same, a C chord again, an F chord again, a D power chord again, but then a G. Right now what's different about this G the second time is that there's an open B string. Okay, You can just go ahead and play the G if you want, it doesn't really matter too much, but an open B string you'll hear it if I put parts 1 and parts 2 of our chorus together now. Hopefully, 
that's been helpful. Um, if you've made it through to there and you don't want to pull your hair out, you're doing fantastically well. Um, stick with this stuff, it's an awesome tune. This is the whole album. Um, hopefully it's been helpful. Thumbs up, subscribe, you know the deal. And um, if you're crazy enough, I'll see you in part two for all the finger picking madness. But it really is important that you kind of get a rough working version of that down first. Um, refer back to my um, the cover that I did on my channel with the link at the start. Um, lots of listening to the, to the piece, get comfortable with that. Um, and if you're crazy, I'll see you in part two. Thanks, bye bye.